What is up, my weeboos? We are here playing Grounded, right before the patch for the holidays. We're um, I've just been concentrating on playing this game, taking a little break from Monster Hunter. We're here at our Big Dick Energy base, <laughs> and uh, let's see here. I have four new bases that I would like to show you, give you guys a little grand tour. We'll start off by the one by the sandbox right over there. And we go over by the berry bush. There's our second base. Uh, third base is that one by the stump. And then lastly, but surely the last base, the fourth base by the grill. So this video will just concentrate. We'll start off with that base first. And I'll just give you guys the grand tour of each base. All right. Okay, so here we are right by the sandbox. The crab sandbox is over there to my left. And then the haze is right around there. This is our map location. Here we are by the garbage heap. There's the sandbox. And then the haze lab is right, right in front of me. So we can, we can get fungus and stuff like that. And here's my gutter base. I just saw this gutter. I didn't think I could build a base in there that would work. But I somehow managed to fit one in there. It's, uh, I believe it's like a, a 3x3 three three inside the gutter. And then the entranceway I just kind of improvised. But that zip line connects to the base. The, to the big dick tower. And then this is how the entrance looks like. There's got a little bridgeway as well. Um, and a ladder to go up from the side. So you can, you know. Use that zipline catway, catwalk, I should say. Anyways, I have just a big entranceway here at the big gate. There you have our pallets and our water collectors and all that by the entrance. There's some lights up there, you know, hanging lights. Then we come in here to our abomination guard, guardmen, patrol guys. I don't know. But yeah, I just I just put those guys up there for just looks. Here we have our main building area. You have eight chests in total, so you can go ahead and craft, craft whatever you want. Here we have just a collection of stuff for convenience. Here we have three beds. Unfortunately, I couldn't fit a fourth, so one of them has to share now. So that that's unfortunate. Anyways, to the third floor, we have our grinding room. Plain and simple. Then we have our spin wheel room. Then our jerky rack room. So you can hang your produce to make jerky. Then we have our chill out room. Just filled with, you know, neat, neat artwork and armor stands. There's a leaf up there, so I couldn't build any higher, so I just put a roof up there and just stopped building. This is the limit. The middle of the, the top floor. I couldn't get it, go any higher, but I just made that a chill out room. Plain and simple base filled with all the essentials so far. We'll go down to the first floor to the entrance. And yeah, that was base number one. Here we have a little bridge. All right. Go up here. The ladder. I mean, I wish it could could go in the middle, but it doesn't snap there, unfortunately. But whatever. And go up here, come up the stairway, and ta-da! Little nice-looking cat catway catwalk. Yeah, it barely it barely skims peak. past the uh, gas can, so that was pretty lucky of me. Uh, let's see. What's the, yeah, there's the gutter. Uh, what was I doing? All right, next base. Next base is that one, right there. Okay, we are here at the next base. We're here by the bird bath. There's the crow, by the berry bush. Here's our location. Like I said, bird bath is right there. Then we have the little pond area with the clay. Then we have the hedge lab, 
you know, berry bush and every everything like that. This is our current location. And this is a little condo is kind of, you know, simple base. Not too fancy. Not too big. Just a simple like hangout area. Uh, some of these are probably kind of barren. I haven't really decorated them. I just filled them with the essential necessities for a comfortable base. Um, built out of uh, the ash, I think, ash cement on a pebble foundation. A very quick access to berries around here. And here we are, open space, like I said. Um, I'll probably decorate it sooner or later. Make use of this, you know, open area over there, like right there. Put some decorations up there. Right now, pretty incomplete base. It's just filled with all the essentials, pretty much. And we have the new fridge, the cook, cook place, your chests, your building spots and everything. This is in the basement. And the chill out area, then we come up to the roof, kind of patio, a jerky rack over there. Um, the water collector here, and then just a chill spot, you know, taking the view. Yeah, probably add in a couple more tables and chairs. Like I said, very bare bones, very basic, like, base. I just made this to chill out, hang out, you know. Because it, it's still, like, very open, as you can see. So, yeah. <laughs> this took me maybe, like, you know, a couple days. Yeah, very simple build. Nothing too fancy. Let's see, on to the third one. It's right over there. Okay, third base. We are... Right outside the pond, on the very edge, there's a pond lab. There's that little concrete structure. There's the stump, and there's the tire. And yeah, there's the tree in front of us. And there's the shed. Here is the third base. Mushroom tower. Kinda. It's not really a tower. Threat. Where's the threat? False alarm, I think. I'm not really sure. Anyways, this is the third base that I built, comprised of mushroom bricks and a feather roof. This may this took me maybe like three days. Three, yeah, around there, two to three days. I already had the materials, so I just put it. Put it on this rock for easy access to the stump area. Very simple build. It's got uh, five floors, I think. I'm not really sure. But connects to the tower over there. Goes inside the base. Yeah. Alright, let's take a look inside. Another kind of barren base with a lot of space in it kind of do that a lot <laughs> half ass base building but there's a bunch of open area taking the view you know nice access inside but all my bases usually have like the bare essentials and I usually decorate them later you know, just as an afterthought. But this base has everything in there for survivability reasons. Like, you see, here. And you have literally everything you need. You have the jiki rack here, and then you can make whatever you want. Because the tool toolboxes are below. This is the rest area. Again, very bare bones. Um, just four beds. And a picture frame. Probably put something here. Maybe like a chest later on. And here is the top floor. Again, very open. Just pallet and dew collector. 
very simple base I'll probably add on to it in the future um, but yeah very simple build just wanted a little extra fancy looking base and it's right by the stump so easy access yeah yeah third base nice got that mushroom brick layout and where's the last base there's it there's the last base let's go okay last but not least the fourth base this is probably the biggest one that took me some time to make uh, it's right by the grill and the picnic table and the uh, garden gnomes right in front of us and as you can see picnic table and the grill right there so you can get your charcoal and this is my fourth base that i have spent a long time building this took maybe maybe a week or so because of the everlast charcoal they do take some time to respawn but this is a three-story building all made from ash cement and it's got the burr floors and the feather roof right next to the grill it's like one two three yep three floors and then there's that ramp you can go up there to the second floor you know I think that's the chill out chill out hangout area I believe so we use this ramp up here right by the grill as you can see and this is what it looks on the inside probably the the most time I spent on all the four bases probably put some big decoration over there maybe like a ox beetle or something once that comes out <laughs> and this is before the patch so you know I can't wait for the new decorations to come out but anyways this is the first floor technically filled with all the necessary stuff here is your jerky rack crafting area your food storage you know the ice fridge whatever your smithing station your ovens your grinders right your spin wheels and back here underneath the ramp there's the little pallets and stuff it's built right underneath it a little chill out table with smoothie stations you know nice little hangout spot so you can gather with your friends then we go to the second floor then the third floor um this is what it looks like very open vast area here, I was thinking of putting an armor decoration area, but, you know, later. I gotta make them. Make, well, I, I should say make another set, because I already have those sets. But here is the bedroom, all symmetrically designed. Two beds, two chairs, you know, two chests. Probably for like, you know, boys and girls room, I guess. It looks exactly the same here, besides, you know, one extra window because it's right by the corner. Oop, didn't, there we go. See that view? Yeah, nice view. Love the view. Yeah, a little chill out area, hangout spot. Yeah, all made of burr floors and everything. Yeah. This took me a little bit because you know charcoal over there just takes a while to respond all right probably show um what can i show later i could probably show what i updated on the tower okay we are back here right by the mysterious machine back at the big dig tower base and uh, 
Just wanted to showcase the little updates I've made. Uh, I got rid of two furnaces and replaced them with uh, the three fridges right there. You no, know, because I, I didn't really need five. No, what was it five? I can't remember. Then I added in uh, armor stands, you know, for displays. So filled that right there. I put the cookery up there, you know, so you can cook your food. Then I added two more armor stands right there. And then we come to the top floor, chill out, hang hangout area. And I added the most top tier armors that are pretty difficult to make. Here we have the ox, you know, ox armor. Then the mantis, mantis armor. Then we have the moth armor up there displayed. And then the black widow armor. All in, all in like the, you know, hangout area. And uh, for this tower, it, 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 come up. There we go. I added, oop, okay, failed attempt. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, it's good. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, for this tower, I did change it up a little bit. I did add another layer, another level to this tower. And it used to be a 3x3, three three, now it's a 5x5. Five five. You know, more room, vast open area. Get to the other places that need be. Because my tower was too short to reach the other bases. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, updated, you know, base tour volume 2 of Grounded. Yeah. Like this... And just focusing on this game for now, you know, keep my mind off things. Just been busy. And like I said, um, just been playing around. There's that third base. Probably think about adding another base over there, just for the undershed content, you know. But uh, you know, later, I would say, uh, somewhere, sometime in the future. So I could easily get to the Mantis fights and stuff like that. But yeah. And thank you very much for watching my Weebies. Bye bye B. Love you. No, no.